the 190 Mega 10 deal is still going until I sell out. Um, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook and I'll get you. I gotta respond back to the backlog. Between the stream orders, I haven't had time to respond to people. Uh, you should find something in your inbox. If by the time this video is up, if not later by the day, I will get those answered to you guys. So, yeah, I've got about 100 cases in total that we're just selling off. So let's dig on into today's market watch, shall we? The collector's rare market is going down. Look at what unlims are doing to this. That and, you know, standard competition where everybody went to undercut each other in their mom, but 235, 231, by the way. 220, and this is pretty normal so far. Gotta love our... Hey, look, a Japanese copy. <laughs> for 80 bucks. 125 for unlims. Those fell. Yikes. Uh, 185 on the Chaos Emperor. I mean, that's still pretty much there. Desire's down to 100. Gear Freed's 105. The Chaos Base is down to 80 for on limbs. And Gamma's down to 110. Huh. Interesting. The Harpies, 80s. Valkyrie, 76s. Creators, 85s. <laughs> $42 on the Dedalos, and the bookmark down to 55 And Pot of Extraves, after their reprint announcement, 25 now. Yikes. Reynolds, 30s. And regular gear freight still holding about $20, but the fall on this set is devastating. 15s on the Black Lusters. I assume the first it's rebound here. 12 on the Creators, bookmarks, 11 bucks. Uh, but your value here. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. The nail has been put in the coffin for this set. Gammas will probably see go up too a little bit. Um, it, it'll be a long while, but you'll see them probably rebound. All right, Starlights, five sixty-five on Ecclesias. Well, it's under six hundred dollars finally. That's all that matters. Tacticals still pushing about four hundred dollars. Crow's still holding at four, and uh, wins. Yeah, they're going under the $300 mark. And then there's Gaia. Huh. Damaged. Yikes. I, how, do you, how do you do that? I just chomp into that. It looks like somebody bit that card. But okay, sure. Oh, look. Uh, we're at 81s and holding. Uh, Disciples went down a little bit. 68s. Talents still holding at 65s. Floor is still officially at $25, which isn't bad. Ecclesias, 23s. Okay. Revolutions holding at tens. Titan clad, about ten bucks. Our boy here at eight. Seven on the rooks. Seven fifties on these. I was waiting to buy these out and it never got to happen. Durandals at fives. Albaz at six. And all the four twenties here, plus shipping, on the Milfies of the forest. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Four dollars. Four dollars. Sets. Like in that regard, it, it's so bad. Still can't believe the Melfies though. These are going up. Huh. Oh, Dark Beginnings 2. Alright, well. Twenty-five dollars for a sealed blister of this. And there's only one box on the market for a thousand dollars for DB2. What an interesting set. Alright. Rescue Cats. We're officially eighty-six dollars now. I don't know what's going on, but things are getting wild out here. Three dollars plus five dollars shipping. Man, I hope they just stamp it up, too. Let's see, Yakers. <sighs> I got a Spanish cat here. Really, these are $8 for commons. I, I still can't believe how short print the rescue cat market actually is. Like, this is disgusting. Alright, Gotham's Call. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the Gotham's Emergency Calls are $40 right now. Like, there's been some massive movement back here. DTs are 20s. Meanwhile, commons nobody cares about are like dollars. But your two highest rarities have gone to the moon. Ugh. Invocation ulties. Uh, well, 121 for near mint, but 110 for light play. 24s. 24s and $19. Well, uh, looks like all copies of Invocation are down, but... Um, they're still worth a lot of money. Alright. Spellbooks. 51 for light play. Ooh, that's a steal, actually. 
Uh, our Blue Boys, on the other hand here, you have not a single first edition on the front page. That's what I like to see. Light plays for 49s. Uh, 76s for near mints. Ugh. And meanwhile, powers are still coming in about $33 for some odd ass reason. Alright. Man. All, look at fate. Look at that. Look at all those damaged copies. Uh, but you're looking at about 15 16 bucks for these, which. That's just for an ultra. Ugh. Yep, but Spellbook stuff still doing what it does. Trap Tricks cards. So, <laughs> buy a Spanish copy of this for 188 or even buy an English for 197 Honestly, the Spanish copy looks really good. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Trap Tricks for Flasier from OTS 13. $39 officially. Uh, Sarah's down to 11s. Hmm. What else is going on back here in OTS 13? It's It's been a second since I've looked at this. Dollar seventy twos books down to sixty threes. Okay, it's not bad. Generator tokens down to two bucks. I'm glad. I'm glad to see that this set has had its time to circulate and go down in value. Uh, these alties though, so much value. Okay. Hmm. The story of Hunley, the other X Saber card that has always been money. Uh, seventy dollars officially for Hunley's. Yikes! It's uh, it's been a hot second. Ultra's only five listings available for these. Huh. Even sixteen bucks. I would expect that this card would get a reprint at some point in its life. Card's very good for what it does for the deck. Weather painter cards. Oh. Okay, so fifteen bucks for these. Not bad. The rest of the deck. Not too horrible in terms of value. Yeah. Weather Painter stuff looking not too bad. Uh, Got to give it to the voting later on, though. Uh, 44 in the Megaton pre-sales. Down to 24. What else is going on over here in the 2020 10s for pre-sales? Um, the set hasn't been kind. Dragoon's still $60 on pre-sale. Pot of Extra 30s. That's not bad. Borloads 24s. A single pack at $10. Gnomes at 7s. Phantasmades at nines, Destined Rivals at four bucks, Successor Souls at fives. It looks like just a lot of four dollar cards across the board here for unconfirmed rarities. Hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah, pre sales aren't a bad thing to play on this set, but we don't know rarities yet. Smoke Grenades, 19. Oh, look, $23. Huh, yeah, we all, we all foresaw that happening. <laughs> no reprint. I don't know why they didn't reprint the card. Heraclinos. Oh, boy. This has been a ride. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, French near mint. What do you look like? Heraclinos bidde glidditir. Okay. Uh, you're looking at 80 bucks for Altis. Oh, what's a first edition one of these going for these days? It's been a hot second. 185 Good luck with that. Yikes. Okay. World Legacy Guard Dragon, seven bucks. Uh LP and Pisty though, dollar fifties. Uh but remember they are getting the reprints. We'll see what rarity they get. Uh Quantum Red Layers, twelve bucks, four to five dollars for the common. In between there, that's not horrible. Necroface first editions. Oh boy. Uh, Italian mob play for 190, Italian 200, German English near mint though is 448 dollars. Good luck with that. Zodiac Whiptails. huh? We're officially 40 dollars right now. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, good luck with this. Should have bought them when they were 20s, um, but that's uh, it's just a bad judgment call if you didn't. Damn, these are still four or five bucks, huh? Well, zoo stuff is still holding. That's not surprising. Yellow Baboon Archer of the Forest. Alright, well, uh, light plays for $10. Uh, near mints are $29. Huh. Things from, oh, it's from Sovar, that's why. Makes sense. I see plenty of on them copies for dollars. Like, two, three bucks for first eds? Yeah, good luck with that. Numeral Hunters from World Superstars. We still don't have a picture for some reason here. 
Uh, infinite mod play copies at like dollars shipped. And you meant for dollar seventy eight shipped. Sure. Mass Dragon. Oh boy, and another good old classic card here. Um, I guess we're we're back down to there's like thirty and then forty, but no, oh, thank you. That's still a lot. Maiden of Aqua First Edition from Pharaonic Guardian. Eight bucks back here, I see. Ten for near mint. Interesting. Okay. Ghost Bell and Spooky Dogwood. Evidently, she dodged the Megatons. Doesn't surprise me. First edition buyout. I guess we bought out first edition copies of her. 14 bucks. Meanwhile, you got regular copies for six. The difference between first edition and Unlim. Yikes. Royal Firestorm Guards. Okay. $74 for near mint. That's dumb. Honest Dual Terminal, these come in about 7 bucks, and we're on buyout status, I guess. That's interesting. Dragon Maids, 205s for Chambers. Uh, we're down to 47 on the Kitchens. 25s, and then literally like 9 bucks for regular Chambers. Ugh. How the mighty have fallen. Jar of Greed, Labyrinth of Nightmare, 1st Edition. I was just thinking about this card the other day. Uh, because of GOAT format, but first edition's $20 for a stupid super rare. Think about that. <laughs> Hero Kid, VRO4s, infinite mod play copies at 17s, by the way. Yeah, no near mints on the market. Huh, that's interesting. And last but not least, YZ Tank Dragon, first edition. So many damaged copies of this thing on the market, it's not even funny. Uh, near mint 35? $35 for an old super rare. Interesting. That's all I got for you guys today for today's market. Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think about the market. And well, guys, I'm out. Take care. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well,. I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Cole 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by M. Cole 40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolegames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.